So at this time, I would like to invite our first guest speaker, and the only guest speaker tonight, Mr. Rudy Jackspacker. Please join us on the stage for your word of wisdom. Thank you. Hey, Sam, before you go, where are the dancing girls? OK, great. OK. Your Excellency, uh, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to celebrate with you the 10th anniversary of the MENA Travel Awards. And of course, uh, I'd like to welcome you to the Conrad, one of our latest luxury hotels uh, in Dubai. Hard to believe uh, 10 years have passed, and it seems like yesterday. I was in Dubai in the first MENA Award ceremony, and I'd like you to join me in a congratulating Sam's vision and insight to honor the, bright, the best and the brightest of our industry. So Sam, a big hand for you, come on. I think the only difference is between 10 years ago, Sam and I had lots more hair and they were now gray. I wouldn't do my job if I wouldn't talk about Hilton for just a couple of minutes. We have been in the region for over 50 years. We have five brands within the UAE and the Middle East. Everybody knows our core brand, Hilton Hotels and Resorts. But of course, our new brands are now coming in. Double Tree by Hilton, Hilton Garden Inn, the Conrad as we have today, and of course, one of the most legendary hotels we have in the chain, the Wall of Astoria, which is now open in Ras al Khaimah, in Jeddah, and the Palm Jumeirah, and hopefully more to come. Interestingly, we are presently open 66 uh, hotels, and we have 67 new hotels in the pipeline. But more on a global, we're always talking about the UAE and the Middle East. I want to also share with you actually the world of Hilton because since 07, when Hilton International got together with Hilton worldwide, we grew by 35% and we have now 4,100 hotels on the globe with 10 brands which I think is one of the biggest companies which we now have available. But I want to make sure that this big is not always the best. So we are more than just a business. We have over 300,000 global team members operating in 91 different countries and not only focused on satisfying the need of our guests but also demonstrating their passion for hospitality within their local communities. To harness this enthusiasm and passion, we launched Travel with a Purpose, a program to create to address the social, economic, sustainable issues that impact our business and are important to our communities. We believe it's our duty to tackle the challenges, size the opportunity that are bigger than we are, and help to create shared values for our businesses. I think it's important to give something back and not just only take. So we call every year the week of global service where more than 100,000 team members volunteer with over 800 communities which spans across 51 countries. I truly believe that giving back to the communities it is really important. I am aware of the abundance and the need where we do business. However, even small returns and actions 
have a high return. I share with you this commitment, and I want to encourage and support with all of you community engagement. I stand here before you because being part, I'm really proud of being part of this community and this industry. Being proud of being a trailblazer in this room. For more than 10 years, driven our region to extraordinary heights. AHEC, ATM, also have 10 years. And you have seen over the last few days the bright light of our success, our growth and opportunities, and our potential within the region. The airlines have paved the way to the routes to other markets, and our hotels have given them the opportunity to do business and explore and relax. Believe it or not, tourists today spend in MIA more than $97 billion. And this will continue on a growth of 17% over the next two years. The success in the Middle East isn't by any chance. It is because we have attracted and developed and retained extraordinary people locally and internationally. When Sam told me about the theme of today's ceremony, powered by service equality, I thought about not necessarily profit. I thought about our team members. By quality, I mean extraordinary attention to detail, going beyond the expected, delivering more than we promised, and, to level, and develop a long-term relationship with our stakeholders. Surely that is the difference between great teams and ordinary teams. That extra determinates whether you are on the road to success or you don't know where the road begins or ends. Someone once told me that to create extraordinary team, you would have to look for a very distinctive trail that divides the extraordinary from the ordinary people. I'd like to think that we talk about being extraordinary by staying extraordinary as an inspiration to our industry. However, we have a duty to look to our teams to choose the extraordinary by commitment. You're committing yourselves to excellence and high standards who live and work. Those values and the action speaks for themselves. We must believe in our brands and products and services and understand how unique and val valuable they are towards our companies, our communities, and our overall success, which will stand out amongst the rest. What is important for us as an industry is to continue to build teams, to, pr to promote a positive and realistic understanding Teams must understand to be financially successful, we must be creative, innovative, and extraordinary sustain and grow our businesses. Being extraordinary is something that requires a daily commitment. It requires discipline. And the result is a better business platform that generates increased guest satisfaction and of course, make no mistake, it's all about profitability. If you look at some extraordinary people who have changed the way we do business, look at Bill Gates with Microsoft. Look at the founder of Telza Motor. Look at Steve Jobs, Zuckerberg, and many, many more. Those people are examples how commitment to innovation and quality can inspire people, change the way we work and communicate, improve our operations, and sustain 
sustainable growth. Think about what all the things which we have achieved in the last 10 years, the services which we now provide, the people we attract into this region, and of course, the revenues which we now generate. We all want a piece of cake of that. Having a team with the right attitude, however, the discipline and belief, the willingness to learn, is the difference between known as a successful business or not. Let us aspire to pursue quality and to be extraordinary and encourage those to follow you. Some of the most successful people in our industry were identified at the very early stage to have extraordinary potential. They progress with directions, leadership and support. I am sure we all know these young and up-and-coming stars, high potential team members who should be our future hospitality leaders. I encourage you to motivate, support them throughout the career, as you need to look for your successes already today. Enough of the past. We have so much look to look forward for the next 10 years. And also, we need to do an extraordinary job in supporting our key stakeholders. But most important, don't forget your families. I am pleased with you to celebrate we're here tonight and being and creating an industry of being extraordinary. Thank you, and have a good evening.